last year I did a reel in which I transformed myself into a 2010s fall girl and y'all hated it. Which is why I need to do it again, this time properly. As with any of my costume projects, the first step is research baby, so that's where we're gonna start. This mid-2010s trend is also often called the Christian girl autumn meme and it features mostly white, often blonde women dressed in a particular style of clothing. One of the most iconic fall girls and the OG fall girl is an influencer, Caitlin Covington, and I feel like her style perfectly encapsulates the whole aesthetic. And before you get offended, most women featured in the iconic fall girl photos are actually okay with it, they embrace the meme and the whole thing is actually actually more wholesome than you'd expect. So, without further ado, here are some crucial elements to the style. The top is usually either an oversized sweater, usually cable knit, or a long cardigan with white t-shirt or a white blouse underneath. On the bottom there would be skinny jeans, either black or blue jeans, and sometimes we see a short mini skirt that is like suede or pleather. A staple element of the fall girl wardrobe is of course the hat. It's either a felt hat, beige or brown or black, or an oversized knitted hat with a pom-pom. There usually also is a bag. It's either a Chanel style bag or an LV style bag in the following colors. Black, beige, brown, nothing else. That's all you get, baby. Boots are black, brown, beige or gray, and they're either short Chelsea boots or some sort of tied boots or suede knee-high boots. Another iconic element is an oversized scarf, usually plaid. The hair is wavy with either an ombre blonde ends going on or just some warm blonde reflexes. And the makeup is your typical mid-2010s contour, warm tone, strong eye makeup. So knowing more or less what I want to achieve I went thrifting. This video is sponsored by Milanote. Milanote is a tool for organizing all sorts of your creative projects, like this one I'm doing right now. It's a place where you can organize your notes, tasks, inspiration, mood boards, and so much more. I am currently using Milanote to plan sewing an 1850s day dress. Now, with every sewing project, there is several things that you need to plan out, such as the pattern, the overall design, fabrics and materials that you're going to use, accessories, etc, etc. I'm not gonna lie, this part is usually pretty chaotic for me. What I did with this project is I gathered some inspiration first, I had a look at original photos from the era, and then I started organizing the boards so the different elements of the outfit are easier to find. Like here you have a separate board for all the hairstyles that I think are a good idea for the whole outfit. I added some notes that highlight elements typical for the fashions from that era. I also added some to-do lists and notes about the aspects of the dress that I hadn't quite yet decided on. And I also tried different color palettes to achieve that perfect autumn Victorian look. What I like about Milanote is that it allows you to organize in every way imaginable. So it's not just adding visual inspiration, it's also notes, it's to-do lists, drawings. There is so many options and it's all in one place, so you don't have to worry about losing your sketches or notes or whatever. And if you're feeling a little lost at first, you can use one of over 100 built-in templates. Depending on the type of creative project you're working on, there is all sorts of different templates. There is filmmakers templates, there is templates for writers, designers, etc. You can also share your projects with whoever you like, just in case you want some feedback or you're collaborating with someone, you can always just share the project. It's so simple. Milanote is available for free with no time limit. So if this is something you're interested in, sign up using the link in the description and maybe it can help you with your own sewing project as well. First, I bought a basic white shirt and a pair of skinny jeans. Then I found the ultimate 2010s fall girl section with a lot of bulky sweaters and cardigans in perfect shades. I couldn't decide for a good moment there and I eventually went for this beige cardi. 
There were a lot of great shoes, but unfortunately none of them were my size. So eventually I settled on these iconic chunky boots that I totally would wear in like 2014. I was pondering on whether or not to get this small Chanel style bag, but eventually went for a more classy one with a tassel. I went home, I tried the things on, and unfortunately it turned out the jeans are actually short and they're also too wide. So I had to fix that. <laughs> I also ordered a hairpiece and a hat online because from what I've seen it's very rare that the fall girl hair is medium length and I also wanted the right shade because obviously my hair is neither blonde nor ombre so I need something to work with. Let's transform. <laughs> this is horrifying. I bought a bronzer for the first time in my life, probably a bad decision. If you're about to say, oh, this doesn't look good, this looks like bad makeup. Honey, I vividly remember my friends in 2016 wearing like sharp lines like this. <laughs> oh my god, oh no. Uh no. Okay, eyebrows. Crucial to the look. I feel like strong eyebrows were really a thing back then. Brush mine first. Do you remember this moment? I think that was like mid-2016 when everyone started overdoing their eyebrows and I also felt like peer pressure to make my eyebrows even more defined than they already were and that was a disaster. I looked like a clown. Why are we doing this for fashion? I feel like my eyebrows are somehow still too thin. Oh. Nope. Mm -mm -mm. One thing about me, I can't do eyeshadow. I don't know what it is about it, it just... I just don't know what it's supposed to do. Why does it look 80s? <laughs> And now I look 60s. I genuinely, I cannot with modern styles. It's just not happening. <laughs> In a desperate attempt to make this makeup look a little more 2010s than 1967, I'm going to put some eyelashes on. I literally have never applied them successfully, so this is gonna be fun. No, it's giving burlesque. <laughs> I was not ready. I Oh my god. No! <laughs> 